Hello everybody and welcome back to another team memes not meta deck profile. I'm Andrew here today with Andrew as well and Andrew is going to be showing off a quite meme deck profile today and what is that deck Andrew? So this deck today is Crawlers. Mm. Uh, possibly the memeiest deck you can get for like $10. And if correct me if I'm wrong the core of this deck you paid around $10 for. Uh, open packs like everything else but you know, at the time it was released, like ten dollars, and you'd have all you need, and then some. They've gone up a little bit in price, like you know, twenty cents for some, <laughs> not all. And let me just say, you may not win all the time when you're playing this deck, but you actually never lose when you play this deck because even if your opponent beats you, they still feel like they lost. Am I right? Right. And that was with my old crawlers. Today I'll be showing you my new. Crawlers. Oh, new and improved crawler deck profile here on Team Memes Not Meta. Let's get right into it. All right. So starting with the deck, uh, three copies of Crawler Spine. Now this is going to be uh, one of the cards you want to set a lot of the time. If you don't know what he does, well, all the crawlers are flip effect monsters. Uh, they're all level two except for the boss one. Um, so when Spine is flipped face up, he pops a monster on the field. Um, but you may see that there's like a wall of text right down there. That's because every single crawler, except the level 9 one, shares an effect where if it leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect while face up, summon two crawlers with different names from your deck face down. So they all share that effect. So say, for example, if I were to like normal summon spine and my opponent just kind of like freaked out and played like, I don't know, bottomless trap hole to destroy it and then banish it, summon two crawlers from my deck face down. So spine, 2100 defense, big body for level 2, very nice. Up next, I play three copies of Crawler Receptor. Now this is your rota for all crawler monsters. So flip him a face up, grab any crawler monster, very nice. And like I said before, he's gonna have the effect of if he dies while well, face up, cause of opponent's card effect, some two from deck. So he's a great extender. Uh, I normally like to be able to play him after I have a spine or a glyle. Um, but speaking of glyle, he is one of the better crawlers, I think. Even though I'm playing him at two, so what he does is he summons a crawler from a hand or graveyard in face up or face down defense. Now this applies to not just my main deck crawlers, but also my extra deck crawlers. So if you were to flip him face up and you have like your big boss in grave, whether it be Deus Ex Crawler or uh, Qualiarch, you can summon them back to the field. So two copies of Glyle, very nice. I've tried him at three, but right now playing at two. And then I have a few one-offs. So I play one copy of Crawler Dendrite. Now, Dendrite is the beefiest attack crawler, but he should never be your swing with crawler. Uh, when he's flipped face up, he is a foolish burial. So, I'll show you a little something he can do in a little bit. So, you can send a crawler or any monster from your deck to grave. Then, I play one copy of Crawler Axon. This is a MST. So, flip face up, pop a Speller Trap. Very nice. Playing about one right now because I have... A few other options for spell and trap removal. Then one copy of Crawler Ranveer. Uh, in my personal opinion, he is the worst of the main deck crawlers because he only adds two crawlers from graveyard back to hand, or sends the link monsters back to the extra deck. It's not that he's bad; it's just that he's not good. If that makes sense. Finally, I play one copy of Deus X Crawler, level nine insect flip effect monster. So you can summon him off of Glyle or the Trap card to his own a Link Monster points to. And he's really good because he actually has a built-in negate effect. So while he's face down, if you're, my opponent plays an effect that targets him, I can flip him face up, negate, and destroy that card. And if he leaves the field because of opponent's card effect, instead of summoning two cards from my deck face down, I'm able to grab any level 9 that is not an Earth attribute. So you can play something like uh, that level 9 Drago Slayer that's summoned off of like a spell, monster, and trap. So... I play him at one, he's too big to play more than one, I personally think, uh, and he's also not too hard to summon, so very nice card. Uh, also I forgot to say, his most, his best effect is while he's uh, face up because he was flipped that way, uh, he is oops, sorry, a floodgate, so the opponent's monster's effect on the field cannot be activated. So. Big boy crawler. Very that nice. was the uh, the additional support that crawlers got. In yes. Later set, right? Yeah. So he was released. Uh, two, I want to say two years after their initial launch. So they got a little bit more support. So I love to see it. So moving off of the crawlers, the other monsters in my deck, I'm playing three copies of Ash Blossom. That's a good card. 
you know, okay. it's doesn't need to be explained really. You know, nice to have. Uh, Get the alt it, art in there. Back. Yeah, one alt art. Um, all ultra rare. All ultra rare. Yep. That's just you love to see it. Yeah. Well, I recently got rid of my commons, so. R. I. P. R. I. P. Then I'm also playing three copies of Effect Veiler. Now, Effect Veiler is good for negating monster effects, and I'm actually using this as a cheaper alternative right now. What you could do in place, I've come to realize, um, if you have them in your collection or you have it in your budget, you can also play three copies of Imperm instead. Or what you could do is you can play Red Eyes Fusion, the Red Eyes, and Dark Magician if you choose to do that. But for the budget Mimi option, I'm currently playing three copies of Veiler. Then the last of the monsters in my main deck, I am playing one copy of Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. So this will come up in a combo in a little bit. It's a pretty simple one you may remember from 2019. It's back. Um, it's, back. it's back. Yeah. <laughs> but not being played in PK Orchest. Um, you can play it more, at more than one, uh, but right now I only have one copy. So I'm sorry for that. Then moving into the Spell and Trap lineup, I'm starting with one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, it's very good removal. Uh, it blow up everything on your opponent's side of the field out of your Spell and Trap. And then I'm also playing two copies of Worm Bait. Now I would actually prefer to have this at three copies. This is very important for the combos, so that's why I want to boost it up one more. If you don't know what it does, if you have an insect monster on your field, play this, summon two insect tokens. They are level 1 Earth Insects. Um, but for the rest of the turn, you cannot uh, normal summon or special summon any level 3 or 4 monsters. That's okay, because we're only playing like level 2s. So no problem there, but very important card. I'll show you why later. Then two copies of Foolish Burial Goods. You want to send one of the traps to Grave um, while setting up for your big plays. I'll show you that in a little bit too. Three copies of Super Poly. Now, where Crawlers lack... I like to play uh, a lot of strong spells and traps in the deck, and that includes three copies of Super Poly. Um, discard one card, summon off your opponent's field on their own turn, very nice. And the fact that it can't be responded to uh, just makes it that much better. Then moving into my uh, Crawler exclusive spells, uh, I'm playing three copies of World Legacy Survivor. So if you don't know what this does, uh, you can play it, excavate the top five cards of your deck and add a Crawler or World Legacy card to your hand and the rest go to Grave. Uh, otherwise, you shuffle them all back into the deck, and also, after this card resolves for the rest of the turn, you're locked into summoning Lynx out of the extra deck. So, that may be a hindrance to some decks, but this deck, that really doesn't matter, considering the combo, you're only gonna be using Link monsters. Finally, uh, three copies of World Legacy in Shadow. This is, uh, in my opinion, the best crawler support card ever printed. It is a field spell, so it gives all crawlers plus 300 attack and defense. Uh, once per turn, you're allowed to special summon a level 2 or lower insect monster from your hand face down or in phase up defense. So very good for setting up Link's turn 1 or just setting up a bigger board. And if your flip monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, uh, Shadow is going to activate to send that attacking monster to grave. So non-targeting removal, very nice. Then moving into the trap lineup, I'm playing three copies of Crusadia Crawler. It is a trap monster, crawler. and you you may remember this from teammate Aiden's deck. So quite good. Uh, it's being played at its best in both our decks. Uh, if it is summoned to a zone, a link monster points you grab any world legacy card from your deck. So that's good for grabbing uh, the other trap I'm about to show you, the field spell or survivor. So a very good card right there. Then I'm playing two copies because I don't know where a third one is at the moment. I have one somewhere, but what I have right now two copies of World Legacy's Mind Meld. So this is a really good trap for crawlers. Uh, if your opponent activates a monster effect while well, I have a face-up crawler, I can or any monster, uh, I can activate this effect instead. So flip the face up, and the opponent's monster's effect becomes return one of my monsters back to my hand. So I can normal summon a crawler, not set it, set this face down, my opponent plays any monster effect, play this, so it'll bounce my crawler back to my hand, activating its effect to summon two crawlers from my deck face down. So. That's very good, that's its on-field effect, but uh, off the graveyard effect, you can banish it to summon a crawler monster from your hand, deck, or grave and face down defense to a zone any link monster points to. So send this off Foolish Burial Goods, and then on your opponent's turn, you can summon Deus from your deck to a zone your link monster points to. Finally, for traps, 
I'm playing two copies of Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. It's a good card. So, yeah, again, if you remember 2019 format, uh, target uh, infect monster on the field negates effects for the turn. Can't be attacked, um, but very good for stopping combos before they can really go off. So it's good to set these on your first turn. I'll show you how you get to that in a moment. Uh, so that's it for the main deck. Cool, cool. Moving into the extra deck. Main deck, uh, 40 cards? Uh, I'll have to check, yes, 40. 40, okay. yes. Very cool. Um, moving on to the Link Monsters, I'm playing three copies of X-Crawler Qualiarch. So this is this was the original boss monster for Crawlers uh, until Deus came out. So his uh, Link material is two Crawler monsters, um, and then he has a few different effects. So for example, um, if I have two plus Crawlers, all monsters that I control gain 300 attack and defense. If I have four plus, uh, my opponent's card effects cannot be activated in the battle phase. So that's very nice to negate any battle phase effects. And then if I have six crawlers, I can just attack directly. So that'll mean every crawler has 300 more attack and defense. The opponent cannot activate cards in the battle phase. And I also get to attack directly. So I've won some games with that before. It's very funny, especially when people don't know what it does. Also, he has a similar effect to all the main deck crawlers. If he leaves people because an opponent's card of effect, um, or card, I should say, summon two crawlers from my graveyard face down. Then I also play one copy of crawler, X Crawler Synapsis and one copy of X Crawler Neurogos. So they are not nearly as important as Qualiarch, but I like to have them in the deck at least so I can still summon more crawlers if need be because they're a little bit stronger than the main deck ones. Moving away from the crawler monsters, I am playing one copy of Link Karibo, very good card. Uh, it's Link rating one off of one level one monster. Um, and I can basically end an attack, or I can use it as a combo piece for what I'm gonna show you a little later. One copy of IP Mascarena, two non-link monsters to make a Link 2 monster. Very good, I can use it on the opponent's turn to quick effect Link off. Uh, and the monster I summon cannot be destroyed by card effect. So nice little bit of protection for anything I wanna summon. A uh, copy of Nightmare Phoenix and Unicorn. I almost said Griffin, I don't know why. So Nightmare Unicorn, Pop a Spider Trap, uh, Unicorn, send a card from the field back to the deck. And if you are Link Summoned, then you get drawn card after you discard one to activate the effects. Also, Unicorn has the additional effect that I've never seen uh, actually play to get more draws in your draw phase compared to, like, if based on what you have calling. So. Nice little uh, ability there. And then I'm playing one copy of Phantom Knight's Rusty Bardish. So this is what I want to see going first to set two Fog Blade. Um, on summon, send a Phantom Knight monster from deck to grave. Uh, then once you do that, I can set a Speller Trap from my deck. So set one Fog Blade, uh, I send the Silent Boots, uh, banish it to grab another Fog Blade. So I'm basically setting two Fog Blade off this effect. And then if I used my Masquerade to summon Bardish or Unicorn, they can't be destroyed by card effect. So very nice there. Finally, for League of Monsters, I'm playing one copy of Appaloosa. Hey. More negates, very nice. So that's going to do it for my Link Monsters. Then going into my Super Pie targets, I'm playing one copy of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, one copy of Credit Plant uh, Trifo Veritum. I think I'm saying that right. Sure. Or just the bigger one. Big boy. And then one copy of Mud Dragon. Best Super Poly card of all time. So I think these two are personally better for Super Poly because two Dark Monsters and then Mud Dragon is a little bit easier. I like playing the one Veritomb because if I can summon this to my field, then it'll give me a negate of a summon from the extra deck. So very nice. Not impossible. I've seen it a few times, but you're going to be going into Starving Venom most of the time, I would say. Finally, for the extra deck, I'm playing one copy of the Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin. Mm. So I like him because he is a rank two, so two level two monsters. Uh, I can detach material to target one monster on the field, drop his attack to zero, negates effects for the turn. Now if I had a Phantom Knight attached to the material, that could be a quick effect, but since I don't have anything that I can do that in this deck, uh, I just have to use it on my own turn to kind of hit a monster. And fun little interaction, uh, if you have Bardish on field and summon uh, javelin to where he points to, then Bardish can pop card. So that's a nice little, nice little bonus right there. And that is going to do it for my crawler deck profile. And if you like to stay tuned, stay tuned, I should say. Uh, there's going to be a quick little combo afterwards. But 
that's pretty much the basics. Yeah, as we said, that's the deck profile there if that's all you came out for today. Thanks so much for watching, and if not, stick around. We're going to do a quick combo tutorial. So here's just one of the quick little combos and crawlers that I like to do. Um, I have found this out myself, but I'm sure someone's thought of it before me, so if you're listening uh, and you know this, good job. Um, I'm not trying to steal anything. But the combo is mandatory to have a copy of Worm Bait and literally any of the level 2 crawlers in your hand. I'm going to be using Spine just because I like them. So the combo is to normal summon Spine and then activate Worm Bait. That'll summon two tokens, so let's say like, just like here and here. Then you can immediately link off one of them into Link Karibo. So now you have a Link 1 and two, mon two non Link monsters on the field. Now you can link these two away to go into Mascarena. So now from here what you can do is you can link these two away to make a Link 3, Rusty Bardish, and since I use Mascarena, he cannot be destroyed by card effect. Now when he's summoned, activate his effect to send a Phantom Knight monster from my deck to grave, sending the copy of Silent Boots. By doing that, he activates to set a Fog Blade directly from deck, and then you can activate the Boots and Grave to banish it and grab another copy of Fog Blade from deck. Then you can set these two and pass. So going to your opponent's turn, you have a 2100 came destroyed by card effect monster, plus two copies of Fog Blade. Now if you also have uh, your, let's say, I can't think of the moment, uh, World Legacy and Shadow, and another crawler you can set a face down, or if you have the Foolish Burial Goods, you can banish on the opponent's turn, uh, banish the Mind Melt, I should say, banish the Mind Melt to set days from my deck to a zone that he points to. So there'll be also be a 3,000 wall with an agate if he's being targeted. Uh, that's from Simple Combos and Crawlers. You can also do a lot of funny Link things like Link 2s. Um, but if you want something a little bit stronger and a little bit more uh, versatile, I think this is a nice little combo for the deck. Uh, Butter Dish is pretty cheap, and Fog Blades can get some pretty cheap ones as well. Uh, but other than that, that will pretty much do it for Crawlers. All right, so that was the Crawler Deck Profile, courtesy of Andrew here. Thank you very much for showing that off, one of your babies indeed. My baby. One you've been playing for a very long time. Um, Almost four years. Yeah, a very frustrating deck to play against. You know, not going to win a whole lot of games, but when you do, it's pretty satisfying. And like I said, even if you don't win the game, your opponent still feels like they lost. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And with that said, that's going to wrap up the Crawler's Deck Profile. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as usual, give a like, give a subscribe, leave a comment down below about any questions about the deck, or if you have any suggestions on how to make it better. We love hearing all of those. And Thanks so much for watching another deck profile here on Team Memes, not Meta.